Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to use Mantaflow to make a boat float on a liquid simulation and make the boat rock from side to side with real physics. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is just an add-on to the last Mantaflow physics tutorial I did. If you like Mantaflow physics tutorials, please subscribe. Cheers. Now, this is what you would start with, default section. This default cube, the first thing I want to do with it is press tab to go into edit mode, press 3 to choose face select, select this front face, and let me actually just look at this and press E2. Select the other face, E2, perfect. Let's go to the front here, press Control R, click, Control R, click, and then press 1, and let's choose wireframe mode and make sure X-ray mode is also turned on, press 1 for vertex select, select this bottom vertex here and like with a box select and press G, Z and bring it down to about there Then select these and press S and do that so it's got that boat like shape at the bottom then select these over here press 3 for face select press E to extrude S by scale and press shift Z then bring it in and what you will have is something like this so then you press control R let's uh, bring it out to about there and then we're going to press 3 for face select holding alt and select this line over here and actually holding alt and select this line over here and press E bring it down and next thing is just solid view mode so we can see this better. Next thing we want to do is press S to scale it in. And yeah, we're quite happy with that. Press numpad 1. Only thing we want to change is wireframe mode. We want this to be higher. G to grab, Z to lock on the Z axis. And choose about yeah. Because wherever this point is, we're going to make this where the level of which is above the water. We're going to press numpad, well we're going to press 1 to be on vert, uh, vertex select. We're going to select this, these verts here with box select and then we're going to press shift S cursor to selected, tab to go into object mode, right click set origin to 3D cursor and press tab to go into edit mode, choose solid view mode. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Uh, maybe we want to press alt and select this shift alt shift alt and shift alt control b let's bring that out like that so we've got a boat like shape and let's select this press let's select the single vert over here and let's press g two and control z let's do g two y oh that doesn't work let me just grab it and press g y take it to a certain level that I feel comfortable with and do the same with the back G Y and make this further out because why not and there we have it we've got our boat the only thing we might want to do is press tab to go to object mode press S to scale and press X only on the X axis and let's just make it a little bit fatter because why not and now we've got our default boat right click shade smooth object data properties, normals, auto smooth at 30 and we've got this weird looking boat. Um, not a great design at all but good enough for the example we're going to do here. We're going to press G, X, bring it to the side. If you've got your own boat you can obviously skip this, that part. Next part is important though. Let's press shift A, mesh, plane and we're going to call this boat plane and we're going to call this default cube boat and we're going to create a new category, new collection called boat and we're going to put the boat plane and the boat in the boat collection right so now with this selected the boat plane press G X and let's bring it to where the boat is and uh, we're going to leave this for now because there's a lot of stuff we need to do with this uh, but let's first go now and press shift A mesh default cube S to scale it 10, type in 10, and you've got numpad 1, you've got your default shape, G to grab it, Z to lock it to the Z axis, put it above the red line, 
And now we can go to the physics properties. We can create a fluid physics and call this domain, change it from gas to liquid. And based on this size over here, we probably want to make this 64 to make it a little bit smaller so there'll be a bit more resolution there, which is important. Uh, the other thing we want to change is make sure that mesh is turned on. 1 to 250 is fine as long as we have all selected here and it's on resumable. And that should be enough. Everything is done with this. Uh, let's choose wireframe mode so we can look at it. Next thing we want to do is press Shift D. Right click and change this to flow. Smoke to liquid. And we can leave it on geometry but we're going to rename this flow. And we're going to rename this cube domain. And just to be a little bit more neat, we're going to have a collection called flow. So if you have multiple flows, it will all be in the same collection. And this part is a bit redundant, but I like to have my domain in its own collection. Um, right. Next thing you want to do is select your flow, press S to scale it, and then press Z to scale it on the Z axis. And have it something like that and then press G Z and just bring it to the bottom here. Yeah? Also right click shade smooth. Oh that's actually not important. On the domain you want to right click and shade smooth. I do apologize. There we go. So we've got a flow liquid geometry that's perfect and on the domain we've got domain liquid 64 mesh 1 to 250 all resumable. That is perfect. The Next thing we want to do is select our boat plane, numpad 7 to have top orthographic view. And before we do anything, let's select both these objects and just scale it down a bit. It's a bit too big. Maybe something like that would be more appropriate. Let's press numpad 1. Let's press G. Just bring it next to this mini square here to make sure it will still work. That's one, two, it's about four. Okay, that's perfect. At least four little squares like that. Um, all right, so now we're going to select the boat plane. I'm going to press S to scale it. G, X. And now we have to scale it for S, Y, and just bring it out to match the boat length. G, Y. S, Y. There we go. Now we can press tab to go into edit mode. Right click, subdivide. Click on the subdivide over here and up it to about 30 should be enough. While everything is still selected, go to the object data properties. Click on vertex group, add one. Rename the vertex group boat plane group and click a sign and that part is done the next thing you want to do is click a modify properties add modify and we're going to use the shrink wrap modifier and we're going to select the domain and we're going to select the vertex group and now that this is fully set up we're going to select the boat Hold on, let's press tab to go into object mode and then select the boat and click on the physics properties fluid effector collision. That's perfect. Make sure planar is not selected. And then go to the object constraint properties, click copy location and select the boat plane and boat plane group. And then also copy rotation select the boat plane and the boat plane group and just like that we are in action next thing you want to do is press numpad 1 select the boat plane and press G to grab it and we're going to select it even though it looks a bit funky now we're just going to put it over here for now I'm quite happy with that. It'll make a lot more sense once this is done. Um, right, so now, so now that the 
boat plan is in place and everything looks correct the next step to, is to just we can do a quick test we can choose the domain physics properties and we can quickly bake all once this reaches um, I guess 250 I will see you then all right the render is complete let's go to solid view mode and just to make life a little bit easier we're going to select the domain and we're just going to add a material to it so it looks a little bit nicer maybe a blue just make sure that the transmission is on one and select the boat and just choose a I don't know let's choose a brown so orange and then just bring it down to a brown and make the roughness 0 0.8 and make the almost forgot the domain itself oh my word I didn't do the domain I missed it right now I've selected the domain it looks like so we're gonna click new blue roughness let's make it zero and transmission let's make this one and one thing we can hide is the flow we can also hide the boat plane and we can click on the light and we can change it to sun and we can make it 25 and we can make it just a little bit warmer there we go now we can go to the render view just to see how it looks if you don't like this shade of blue you can play around with it all right let's uh let's take a quick look over here let's zoom in and press play well the water isn't going to move but we can see that everything is in place in the correct place so that's good now the next step that we want to do is we want to free the domain which is quite important so you have to go to the catch in the physics properties say free all wireframe mode numpad 1 and we're going to press G shift A mesh and let's just add an icosphere and press G and just bring one over here you can scale that puppy up numpad 7 and we can click fluid flow liquid and that should be fine and we just press G Y and we chuck this one here shift D lock it to the Y axis one over here shift D lock it to the Y axis and one over here and just for fun we can select this one here and press G Z bring it down to there select this one G Z bring it down to there just so that it's a little bit different why not and now that you've got all these selected make sure that you put them in the correct place and the correct place for these icospheres would be in flow because they all flows once you've done that all you need to do is select the domain again scroll down and click bake all I'll see you once this bake is complete all right it is baked so let's take a look at how this will look in render view mode and let's make sure that the plane is not visible and the flows are not visible and let's find an angle that we could appreciate maybe I don't know maybe this angle let's zoom in maybe this angle let's click on the camera and now that I look at this I'm gonna press shift shift a mesh plane and pad 7 G Y numpad 1 R I believe on is it the x-axis 90 degrees and then press S to scale this puppy out G Y I guess I need to rotate this whatever reason 
R Y, I mean X ninety, no one eighty. Let's take a view of let's take a view of here. Yeah. R X Okay, doesn't really matter. Cool. It's because of where the light is shining. So let's click on the light and let's rotate it to something like that. There we go. And let's just find a nice angle. That we could appreciate the this boat rock, something like that. Select the camera, type in control alt numpad zero and press G just to move it to the exact position you like something like that should be fine and we can look at the baked view quickly see how it looks it's busy running there they're dropping and we'll see if it's if it moves correctly now Yep, it's definitely moving correctly. It's rocking from side to side using Mantaflow. This is proper physics. This is what would happen if this boat was in this choppy in choppy waters like this. Um, and all you need to do now when you get a chance is you can render it out. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah. I'm quite enjoying this series. I'm just going to let it play up to 250 and then I'll stop the video. I'm quite happy with this.